Hey what's up guys welcome to another video. So guys we are hearing much about the Galaxy S22 Ultra from past few weeks and it has created some buzz around the flagship Ultra model. And judging upon the leaks and rumor and the hype of the upcoming S22 Ultra devices, I think that it is going to be justified as the S22 Ultra looks similar to the Note devices. Well we have talked much about the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra in past few weeks but what about the S22 and the S22 Plus? Well we don't know much about them. Until now, we only know information about the Galaxy S22 and the S22 Plus is that the S Universe has shared information they are looking like similar to the iPhone 13 without a notch and they are going to be coming with a flat display both from the front and the back side. But yesterday we have got some new information and the render images coming from Let's Go Digital who have created one of the stunning images of both the S22 and the S22 Plus based on the information coming from a former Samsung employee. Well guys, we have some refinement on both the back and the front of the display if you look at closely you will be noticing that there is going to be a refinement in terms of the back cameras which make them a little bit different from the s21 series you may not find any kind of a difference on the back of both the s22 and the s21 plus in terms of camera bump but what is more interesting is going to be the front display well, it's going to be coming with a flat display and that display is going to be coming with a uniform bezels that are going to be slim on all four corners of the device which are pretty much going to be giving them a unique look. And honestly, these slim bezels will set the handset apart from any Android devices that has been launched in the 2021. Anyhow guys, the frame of the S21 and S21 Plus is not going to be flat as the iPhone 13 but when we compare it to the S21 series, it looks flat not as flat as the iPhones. So guys all in all both the S22 and the S22 Plus are polished version of the S21. With that being said there has been new information that has been arrived which is going to be pretty much interesting. We previously reported that Samsung has lost its position from Xiaomi in the Q2 but in quarter 3 a new report has been coming from Calus which gave us a detail that the uh, Q3 is going to be dominated by Samsung devices because the shift net rate has been increased just because the fact that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3 devices has performed really really great. So Samsung has regained its number one position whereas we also see that Apple is on the second position and Xiaomi slips towards the third position. So guys I think that this is going to be a great momentum from Samsung before the launch of the S22. And you're talking about the S22 series, its mass production is also been started much earlier than expected. I think that's the only reason mass production has started so early just because that Samsung wanted to bring more devices to be ready before the launch of the S22 series. So this is going to be a great move in order to bring more devices to more countries and more people so they can purchase without any delay. And you guys the last story of today is going to be regarding the S21 FE which is going to be finally launching on the CES 2022. CES is a big event and I don't think that Samsung will be bringing any kind of an unpacked event specifically for the S21 FE. But what is more interesting about that particular device is going to be the pricing and I think that the pricing will be around $599. Uh, for that particular device because it's coming with some compromises than the S21 series. And you guys, I am super excited about the S22 series. Let me know your thoughts about the S22 and the S22 Plus design in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Peace.